my gosh. I'm going to have to try to edit that out. I had it on mute. I don't know why it starts on mute, but I'm going to have to edit that out. Like I was saying, um, I'm trying to keep you guys current. So I'm skipping a few videos and then I'm going to go back and do the other ones. But this is a video from Leticia today. Um, and if I forget to turn the camera off and I accidentally take a vape, I'm so sorry. I'm really stressed today. Um, I've got my mediation coming up on the first and um, I have to say I'm pretty nervous about it. You know, after being with someone for 28 years, I mean, we've been separated for quite a while, but still, you know, my only husband, both of my kids are from him. Like I haven't been with anyone else. So it's, it's closure though, but I'm still nervous about it. Um, so if you guys could please pray for me on that one. Also, I want to update all of you who have been praying for my mama. Hi. Um, she, but you're not going to believe this. Hi, baby. You want to say hello? Say hi. Okay. What do you want? It's been so hot. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to catch you guys up on stuff. Hey, okay, honey, you can't be moving around. You got to sit still. Sit in front of the fan and the air conditioner. Go lay down. Oh, my goodness. What, honey? What? I know. You're such a handsome boy. Say hi. Say hi. Okay, honey. Go lay down. Anyways, those of you who have been praying for my mom, guess what? Oh, yuck. Slobber. Ew. <laughs> She's being released. From the rehab center that she's been at after having COVID, she gets to go home. She's been off her oxygen for four days. Four days. Um, before, when she started, it was like she couldn't be off it at all. Then it was two hours, then it was a day, then it was another day. The woman's 81 years old. Let me just give you a little bit of uh, history real quick. I think my son's home. And it always has to happen when I'm starting a video. She's 81 years old. She's had part of her, a quarter of her lung removed. She's had two heart attacks. She's had breast cancer and she got both of her breasts removed. She's had cirrhosis of the liver. And now she's had COVID. And she's still going. She told me to tell all of you who have been praying for her. Thank you so much. I just talked to her today. She said... This wouldn't be possible if it weren't for everybody's prayers. She appreciates it more than you know, and she wanted me to relay that to you. So thank you so much. I might have to put it on pause here for a moment. I think my son's home. He went for a motorcycle ride with his buddy, and also he got a job. So that's exciting. God's good. I mean, we do all go through our trials, but one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, <laughs> my son's home. So anyways, let's go ahead and um, start. And I hope you guys, the sound and everything is okay. The way I'm doing this, I downloaded it from Instagram and I uploaded it here. And I'm trying to, I've been talking for six minutes and saying absolutely nothing. Here we go. what the fuck I've been through. 
Today is July 27, 2022. I don't know what else to express to you guys. Why do I seem like the fucking issue when in actuality it's all these fucking dicks that go around just using me and, and traumatizing me even more? Can I just get some fucking weed today, please? I, I don't know what to tell you. How much do you want to see me cry? How much do you want to see me be out? How, you know I have these disorders. You know I just take everybody's word as if they're fucking genuine. Why can't Actually, no, you don't. You don't take anybody's word. Remember, you said you don't trust anybody. So, no, you don't take anybody's word as if they're genuine. Um, and I'm curious, like, do you see what I see? Is she not sitting in her car? She's not in jail, right? And she's still complaining. She's She didn't have to go to jail, right? She's not in jail. She got her car back and didn't get arrested, it looks like. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think she's sitting in her car. I don't know. Um, and what is she doing? She's still bitching. Unbelievable. Can I be with the father of this fucking kid? And instead, you act like I don't deserve it. You act like he doesn't want to be with you. It has nothing to do with deserving or not. Some people just aren't into each other. He's just not that into you. I mean, he wasn't before. I think he was just looking for a hookup. And you went to his place. Shouldn't have gone to his place. Um, but then, I'm sure what, even if there was any chance whatsoever, you ruined that by your craziness. I would I would have ran fast just like he did. Like I don't deserve shit. When in actuality, I've done so much more than most people. Can you just give me that? It's her again. I'm better than everybody. I've done more than every. Really? What? What? <laughs> Leticia, tell us about everything you've done great in your life. I'll wait. What? What have you done so great in your life? More than all of us. The fucking break. Tomorrow's my goddamn birthday. I just want... Happy birthday. What are you, 35? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leticia. Happy birthday to you. Okay. There, you got your happy birthday. Happy fucking relax you people act like you're so high and mighty i i just i'm managing i'm trying my fucking damnedest to fucking just make it to just make it by i just want to be dead for a for a fucking one here it goes again she's not getting her way so she's talking about threatening this but instead you just all you want to do is just harass me <sighs> smoking weeds so <laughs> Because people aren't handing out weed to her, they're harassing her. It's not the fucking issue. You know damn well that's not the fucking issue. That's just the fucking, that's the solution. Actually, for you, weed is the issue. Because guess what? You can't cope without it. That's an issue. I don't know. Just as if someone were on pills, someone were on heroin, someone were on meth, someone were on alcohol. It's, you can't cope without it. So you can't set yourself apart from everybody else. If you're addicted, you're addicted, you're addicted. It doesn't matter. And, and, and I'm just, I'm so sick and tired of this. So are we. I want really. to be myself. I, I don't want to be scared. I want to be encouraged and be able to fucking talk to people. And the only way I can do that is, is you know, online dating and shit. And you stop me from doing that. So again, not only is everything else in her life, everybody else's fault. Now, because she can't online date, that's all of our fault too. And the government, mind you. You stopped me from being able to access anybody else. And, and it's all my fault? Yes. I'm sorry, what? I I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Are you okay? Um... Aren't you the one who kind of freaked out on JW and started threatening him and slandering him, 
So that was your actions that made people see you and say, mm, I don't want to date her. That was nobody else's fault. Your fault. Or give me the fucking father or something. Have him the father doesn't want you. Give me the father. Him fucking pay for my shit and my medication. Pay for your. I thought you didn't want a penny from him, Leticia. Remember? Isn't that what you said? I don't want n uh, no money from him. That's not what this is about. Whatever. I don't know what you want. You want my fucking blood. You, you're after me. I don't know what the fuck I can do for you that that is going to appease you. Why? What is wrong with you people? There's, an, oh my God, I'm fucking snapping. I just want to smoke some goddamn weed so I can chill the fuck out, figure out what I've got to do next, figure out where I can fucking sleep and that it's going to be safe for me. Wait, you have your car now. Didn't you say a few videos ago? Now look at my life. I don't even have my car. When I had my car, I was fine living in my car. I was happy. Well, you have your car now. So what's the problem? Go back to how you were living before all this happened. Before you made all this happen. You see what the fuck my mother does. You see how she fucking acts. You see how fucking, you know. Man no. Yeah, we see that your mom doesn't act crazy at all. It's funny because that's all you try to do is prove that she's crazy and manipulative and she's a liar and this and that. She hasn't shown that. Manipulative. The whole fucking situation is she's like, I bought the fucking gas for you. Bitch, you used all the gas. There's a fucking quarter of a tank. Not even I'm on fucking E. And, and, and you're telling me that these people deserve to be fucking allowed out and, and get more resources than I get because they search better, because they're manipulative, because they can access this shit better. I'm telling you, I'm so done with this. Why didn't you file for the fucking warrant? Why didn't you file for him assaulting a pregnant woman? And now I've got to take the time out of my fucking day, worried that you guys are going to fucking detain me. I'm so fucking scared. No, you're not. You know, if you were going to be detained, you would be detained. What are you talking about? Remember, they always know where you are. They knew you were at the hospital. If they wanted to detain you, they would have come and detain you. They knew your car was where it was. They would have taken you then. Stop making shit up to make people feel bad for you. Be a grown-up. Figure out what you got to do. Execute it. And you're done. What, you can't even function yet? You want people to believe that you can raise a child? You guys, you have no idea. You have no idea how sick you look. How <laughs> sick you look. And I'm like, oh my God, I haven't done shit wrong. I cry all the fucking time. The only thing that doesn't make me cry is weed. I'm freaked out. I, my whole life has been just me being abused because I don't know what's up and down and, and left and right because everyone fucking manipulates and lies. Leticia, I'm serious when I ask this. What do people want to take from you? I'm not trying to be mean whatsoever. What do you have that everybody is trying to manipulate and get from you? What? You don't have money. You don't have a house. You don't even work so that no one is trying to take your position at work. No one's trying to take your home where you live because you don't have a home because you refuse to do things for yourself. And so here, this is what it is. So you know how there's homeless people and they're out on the streets and they're thankful for whatever they get. Someone walks by, hands them five bucks. They're, most, most people are grateful, right? Or someone buys them a burger or gives, hands them a gift card or takes a little goodie bag to them. I mean, I've seen people be very thankful for that. Um, She's one of those homeless people, except she has a car to live in, at least. I mean, at least. She could have been living at her mom's, but she can't control her anger and her abuse. So she's back to her car. Um, but she's one of the homeless people, right? I think all of us, many of us are just a paycheck from homelessness. Many of us are. So, I mean, I don't take for granted what I have. I mean, I don't own this place. 
I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a low man on the totem pole too, but be grateful for what you have. So here's Leticia, just like the other homeless people, they're grateful. And, you know, just maybe once a day, once a week, maybe a few times a week, if someone's lucky, someone decides to bless them, right? Give them something. She is one of those homeless people, but if people don't bless her on a daily basis, this is how she acts. It's, it's the craziest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen somebody like this before. She honestly feels that she's entitled to live like somebody who works their ass off and, you know, provides for themselves she believes she should be able to have all the benefits that somebody that works hard gets without lifting a finger. I don't get it. There are resources out there for pregnant women, Leticia. I think the problem is, is like, she just can't, she refuses to do the work that it takes um, to, you know, to find those places and that's her own fault you know what i'm saying so yeah let's move on it's to me give me the fucking father i want a goddamn apology which one is it if it's not fucking jason if everybody's trying to tell me he was fucking snipped which i doubt i mean he didn't respond because he was fucking scared he's like oh shit why would i impregnate some fucking crazy bitch yeah i know bitch why would you use me in the middle of the fucking night why 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 would you stick your dick in someone that didn't have any fucking reason to be procreating? How in the world can someone be messed with and not wake up? I'm seriously. <laughs> and then I'm just, I, we've talked about that many times. I don't believe her story. Many people don't. It makes no sense. And the more she does what she's doing, I think she's getting angrier and angrier, more angry because her plan backfired and she's not happy about it. And it's, it's put her in a um, tailspin. Like she doesn't know what to do now. She's in Leticia's terms. She's fucked. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I I have no reason to be having children if I have no safe place. I have no home. I have nothing. It's it, all my love. Yeah, my love means nothing to the world. Obviously, you know damn well. I just I just want to smoke. I just want to chill out. I don't even want this baby. I told you, take it in exchange for my freedom. See, she doesn't want the baby. She's said it so many times. She doesn't want the baby, but yet she, she, she won't give it up for adoption. So it's safe, right? She uses it like a carrot in front of a rabbit, you know, or like candy in front of a child. She dangles it, him, the baby to freak people out, to scare people that this poor baby is going to not be safe unless she gets what she wants. That's what she does. It's vile. I don't know what else you want. You already stole my first one. I don't know what you want. I'm sick and tired. Everyone acts like I'm manipulating. I know I'm freaking out. These are my fucking raw emotions. You people are sick. I just want to go somewhere. I just want to not be in this realm anymore. This is so fucking sick. Why didn't you stay in the mental hospital? then obviously you can't cope so why don't you just stay there and get help you have another life to think about if you're wanting to keep that baby i don't know one day you do one day you don't so one day you want to murder it and then another day you love him i mean i hope to god you don't get custody of that child but if you're saying you do love him and you're saying you want to keep him why didn't you just stay and say, you know what? I need help. I have this child to think about. I want to be a good mom. This is a second chance for me. Um, I want to be healthy. But you don't. 
because you love living in this victim mentality. That's how you survive. It's really sad. Just don't want to be here. Tomorrow's my goddamn birthday. You know damn well that you're fucking with me. Please stop using the Lord's name in vain. Miss, you people don't believe in God. God loves me. I follow God. No, stop. Ugh. God, Celine, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be in the incarcerated. I just want to. Because she doesn't have, this is all because she doesn't have weed. This is it right here. Guarantee you if she does another video later where she smoked, totally different person. You'll see. Be free. I want to watch videos. I want to pretend that people love me. I want to pretend that there's someone out there for me. But there is. There is someone out there for you. There is somebody I'm sure that could love you, but you have to be lovable, Leticia. You're so damn unlovable. Give somebody a reason. Seriously, give somebody a reason to love you. Quit being such a selfish, entitled, manipulative little psycho. No, I know, because I'm a fucking crybaby. Oh my god. Oh, you're. And this guy asked you me need how help. I'm gonna pay him with money, uh, not my vagina. That's for sure. I don't know why people want to harass me. Why? There's no protective place I can go. There's nowhere. I just oh want some weed gosh. if you would have just given me my card. But no, I have to pay for it. I've got to wait for it. I've got to everything in the mail. Everything's got to be a procedure with you people. It's called life laws. If you, I mean, oh my gosh, this is the simplest little things make her go crazy. I mean, can you imagine if she ran out of gas somewhere or if she had her child with her and her child threw up all over the place and she was in a stressful situation already? Can you imagine how she would handle that? Like, seriously. Oh my gosh, she is so incapable of the normal everyday things. You can't just help a nigger out. Fuck you people. She just said the N word. And I know what she's going to say. I didn't put the hard R on it. You're gross, Leticia. You're sick in the head. God, I hate you so much. No, you hate yourself. Look at that. You hate yourself, Leticia. You have no reason to hate everybody else. These people haven't done anything to you. I don't care how inappropriate I sound. I don't course, care. We know. I use these terms. I use these phrases. And I'm fucking sober as fuck right now. And that's even worse because I'm like so fucking mouthy. Oh my God. I just want to smoke. <sighs> I don't know what to do right now. I'm so sick. Go look I'm for so a job. People. Go look for a job. I love you very much. Go though. stay in a mission. I love that you watch over me. Sometimes, but you're not very nice. <laughs> what if she should just let me fucking do it? See, she says things like this every once in a while. I love you guys. Just because she thinks to herself, oh, shoot, I better be a little bit nice. So somebody will do something for me. If I'm a total bitch the entire time, no one's going to feel sorry for me. I have to say something nice. <laughs> you should just let me fucking kill myself on live. Fuck that. Here it goes. You know damn well I don't want to be here. I just want to fall off of something really fucking high and just die. And I can't smoke. I can't fucking do anything. I don't want to drink. I don't want to do anything. I just want to smoke some weed. I hate you people so goddamn much. Can you just give me a goddamn break? Can you just send me some fucking angel for fucking once instead? You send me all these demons, even on your fucking payroll. Oh my God. How is this supposed to be a blessing? How is this supposed to You people don't see that she's totally acting. Come on. Look at, she's such a, she's so acting. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's su such an act. It's so gross. Ugh. To be a blessing. All I do is waste my money and efforts trying to take care of it. And then I get the one that I'm looked at like I'm crazy. No, I've sustained it this whole time. I don't know. I don't want it. I don't want it. Sustained what? The baby? Um, 
I mean, it's been in your belly, yeah, but you haven't protected it, especially when you punched yourself in the stomach and you smoke weed every, every chance you get. Who knows what else you've done, I'm sure. Take it. I don't care. I really don't care. Like I. Why do you have to yell all the time? <sighs> wish I had a safe place, then I would want it, then it would be different, but it's not. It doesn't matter if you'd have a safe place. You're still mental. You still have to get this taken care of. Just because you have a safe place, your actions show that with things that come up in life, you're incapable of handling things, period. So you say, you said before, if I just had my car back, I could be in my car, I'd be happy. I was happy before you had your car back. I don't want to go to jail. He didn't go to jail. Like, it's always going to be something. It's fucked up. It's crazy. And I fucking hate you people. Oh. And my brother's stealing the rest of that goddamn weed. I don't have my goddamn it. pipe. So I have to fucking roll a joint or something whenever I get it. I'm sick and tired of this shit. Go fucking, go rape that bitch. She's hot as fuck. Go rape her. Why would you wish somebody else to be hard? If you really had and you knew what it was like, you would never say something like that ever. And your brother didn't steal your weed. It was his in the first place. So maybe he took it back. You're gross. You're sick. I, I wasn't fucking hot. You just took advantage of a fucking nasty, disgusting whore. And I'm not even a whore. Like, what the fuck? I, I went this entire pregnancy. That sick doesn't mean you're shit. not. I'm completely sick and tired of this. There's so many fucking immoral pieces of trash, sinful fucking creatures just wandering the goddamn earth. And I, I agree with that. There is a lot of immoral, sinful creatures. And you're one of them. I'm a sinful creature. I'm not evil and I don't do things intentionally, but you can't sit there and call other people something you are. I don't want to be incarcerated. I don't want to be confined. They weren't giving me my medicine. What medicine? I thought you don't take medicine. Are you talking about weed? What do you think the hospital is going to give you your weed? Like what medicine are you talking about? I thought you're not on meds. See, she doesn't make any sense at all. If I could just smoke, then I would be fucking better. But no, then I trip the fuck out. What happens when your smoke wears off? I just want my shit and I want to fucking run away. I just want to run away from all of you. I want to run away from your insanity. Fuck you people. I'm sick and tired of this. You better you do something to fucking help me. I swear to Christ, I'm going to try another fucking attempt right now. There it is. Did you hear that? Hey, you guys, it's up to you. Now listen again, okay? Look at what she's saying. And she and you guys think she means it when she says, I'm going to commit suicide. I am. I'm, I'm doing it. I am. It's not for attention. You better do something to fucking help me or I swear to Christ, I'm going to try another fucking attempt right now. I am not fucking joking. And then you're going to force me to have to deal with all these fucking pigs, all these fucking nasty assholes. I don't. So, so people don't support your drug habit yet. If they don't, you're going to attempt, you know, to do that again, which you just saw what happened. The motel room door got broken down. Remember? And you got whatever happened to you taken somewhere, but, um, then it's then we're forcing you to do that do you see how she says that i don't care how much i incriminate myself i don't care you haven't fucking done shit to the people that are actually fucking predators and actually fucking criminals and you, you just let my brother walk free are you fucking deranged are you fucking stupid do you realize that that is fucking the opposite of god the opposite of being good and fucking, oh my God, that's the goddamn devil that you just didn't process it 
and then I have to fucking come down to your fucking office so I can be scared as fuck to deal with you people again because oh all you've God. ever done is just fucking look at me like I'm not the victim, like I'm the one that's freaking out. Yeah, I'm freak out verbally. Yeah, but I don't do anything. I don't fucking harm anybody. I showed you what you fucking did. You let my ex-husband leave me with loaded guns. You let that shit happen. You let him manipulate me in the courts. You didn't even have a fucking anybody, an advocate there to see that I was there at court to try to stand for my daughter and her rights and shit like that. The, and no, but I was on all these pharmaceuticals. Yeah, I'll freak the fuck out, right? Did you fight for your daughter after you lost her, even though you signed her away? Did you fight to get her back? Did you even attempt to try to get her back in the six years that you haven't had her? Have you tried to? Or have you just played the victim the entire time? Yeah, and now Maya's calling me, and like it's like I don't know how that's tied in. You psychopaths. You fucking psychos. There's no reason to fucking answer her phone call. I'm a fucking hundred goddamn million miles away from her. So what's the fucking point? She keeps leaving fucking voicemails for what? I just want to smoke some fucking weed. I, I don't care if you think that that's fucking with the baby. It's fucking with the baby that I must go under so much goddamn stress when I'm sober. I didn't have a place to rest. I didn't have a place to fucking relax and think about this child like I did with Tootsie. No, you stole her anyway. All the fucking effort I put into her. You shoved me on psych meds in order to steal it from me. Oh my God, you let all this happen. I should be suing all of you. And I can't because I have no money to do so. You guys are insane. I just want my Tootsie. I want my home. I want my Pluto. Oh my gosh. There are attorneys that help people. You could have con tried to contact. You could have got a job, a two jobs, three jobs sometimes. You got to do what it takes if you really want to try to get your daughter back. But they shoved you on psych meds. Well, if you were burning her crib up and killing puppies and doing all that stuff, you should have been on psych meds. So, obviously, the dad felt it was best for his daughter to be away from you because if you burn your baby's crib up, then that's kind of psychotic. <laughs> I hate you. I hate all of you. I don't give a fuck that I'm sitting outside of Walmart. I don't give a fuck that there's fucking old pieces of shit and fucking, you know, military men all over the fucking place. Fuck them. They're fucking pieces of shit. You stupid, dirty dicks. Fuck you. I hope your dicks rot off, you pieces of trash. I want to smoke. I can't, I can't be okay. I cannot be okay. I cannot be stable in that way because all I want to do is cut. Why don't you go fuck with this bitch? She's got only a haphazard fucking face, but her body looks good. Why don't you go fucking impregnate that bitch? Huh? Oh, because she comes from a good family. That's why. Because she has people that love her. That's why. I have no one and nothing. And that's why you fuck. How do you know that she has people that love her and comes from a good family? She's a stranger. You don't know. But you see, you're not the only one in the world that has had to deal with stress <laughs> or trauma, if, if, if you have. You act like you're the only one in the world that's ever had to deal with something. With me. That's why you decided to destroy my fucking life. You act like a baby's going to fix anything. No, I was looking for a husband first, bitch. God, I'm fucking pissed. And all of you, all of you fucking kicking me out of... And whoop, there it is. Well, there it is. She was looking for her husband first, and that husband didn't want that. That um, husband material wasn't interested. Hence, ta-da! <laughs> wow. Of every fucking facility, where the fuck am I supposed to go in? Kick you out of every facility. You mean all the gyms that you harass people, accuse them? People, you know, customers have gone through your purse when she just moved it, and you know it. Um, you, you're not supposed to live in these places, Leticia. There are, um, they do have um, gyms that, you know, have, they do open up there, you know, for people who 
are homeless or, you know, partially homeless or whatever, and they want to go on job interviews and they need to be clean and take a shower. They do, some gyms do open up. Um, it's a, it's something to do with the city. It's like a contract or something they have with the city. Maybe not a contract, but it's an agreement that they'll do for people who are trying to get their life together and they need, you know, they want to clean up and go on job interviews and things like that. Not to sleep there, not to live there and do videos on, you know, causing problems where police are being called to there. Oh, come on. And out of to use the restroom now in the middle of the night. I'm just going to have to go piss in your fucking yard, you pieces of trash. Yeah, all of you judicials, all of you fucking authority fucking figures. Well, I'm just going to go take a shit in your fucking yard. Fuck you. There's more pieces threats. of trash. More threats. She just can't shut up, can she? More threats. She just keeps going and keeps going, but she doesn't want to go to jail. But she just keeps threatening and keeps threatening. And you think that it's hilarious because then I don't end up doing anything. I'm just a good girl. Always just oh, so good. Please. And I just comply. I'm so complacent. But yet at the same time, you don't realize, oh, my God, you're going to be fucked. Your karma is going to be so goddamn fucking hardcore. Like. So if you really believe in karma, Leticia, so why are you going through all of this? Karma to you is bad things happening because of things you've done. Well, bad things are happening to you. Why? You pieces of shit. You're going to get your goddamn karma. So anyway... I fucking hate you. Give me my fucking shit. I'm done. You're always done. So, yeah. It's what a child. You also. What a child. Just, just, there's two-year-olds that don't act like her. Obviously, you guys are crazy. Just like me. So, with two fucking, all these people. So, you're admitting that you're crazy. Okay, because typically you say to everybody else who's crazy, you're completely sane, and you're smarter than everybody else. Peas in a pod. All right, fuck you. Yeah, and I could be helpful to you. I could be, but why? Why should I? You, it's not like you she take any yells. of my words under consideration. Anyway, you think that I, I have my. They're not credible whatsoever. Yet you hear me. You see how articulate I am. You see how how you know capable I could be. Actually, no, because unfortunately, you're you know. Your little, uh, what do you call it, your uh, intelligence that you have, that you brag about all the time, kind of goes by the wayside when you do this. It's like, would somebody intelligent behave this way? Or would somebody intelligent figure out how to get healthy? So when you say that, oh, you guys see how articulate I am and how intelligent... What does it mean if you do this? It, it just, it negates all of that. It means nothing, nothing. And even if you say, well, you can see, you know, how good I could be. For what though? You don't want to do anything with your life. So is this why you do this? You have nothing. I mean, do you really plan on doing nothing else with your life? Because you say you can't work. You can't handle being around people. Well, what are you going to do then for the rest of your life? How are you going to get out of this situation? You just expect everybody else to get you out of it. But nobody has offered me the f fucking sustainable resources to be able to, to excel as I should. Instead, you don't want to keep me from excelling because you want to prove that you're fucking deranged, stupid Arkansans are worth the ones breeding and all this nonsense. You're fucking stupid. And I can't wait for your fucking children to just devour one another. Fucking retarded. Fucking dumb. And I, and I could have been good. I could have offered more to this fucking community. I could have offered more to this world. Instead, you want to steal from me. You want to make it look like I'm fucking crazy. You steal what? Your crusty panties? What do people steal from you? And it's like, 
you just showing your fucking true colors and how insane you actually I see your true colors shining through. I see your true. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I have to make myself laugh. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> it's like exhausting. Uh. Oh, I want to say Michelle Mat Matas. Is that how you say it? Matas? Mat Matas? I don't know. Anyways. Thank you for your comment. It was beautiful. And now you got me wanting to read that book. <laughs> um, it was gore. It was a beautiful comment. Thank you for that. I was thinking about that and wanted to say that. I, I still have some comments to get back to. So just be patient with me, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're almost done. Uh. We are. That's exactly what it is. You're showing how perverse, how deranged, and how fucking psychotic you are. I want the fucking father. I want the father and I want a fucking apology. You know which one he is. Oh my gosh. Out of the five, who? which one? Which father? You don't even know for sure which. who's the father. Maybe you do need to go on Jerry Springer or Maury Povich or one of the, <laughs> well, you belong. I mean, if you want to find out who the father is, go on Maury Povich. But if you want to handle all this shit with people, your Jerry Springer material right here. I'm saying, how many times has she said in this video, I want the father. I want the father. I'm telling you, he's in danger. I don't trust her. She's off her rocker. Um, she's threatened many times. And he's ignoring her. He's not giving in to her bullshit. I just hope to God nothing happens because I see her doing something. Yikes, this is scary. He's not going to apologize to you because you're accusing him of something he didn't do. You know damn well out of the two which one he fucking is. And I'm sick and tired of having to question my reality in order to fucking give you some good fucking entertainment. Fuck you. I need to smoke. Fuck you. I'm going to go fucking sell myself then, you pieces of goddamn trash. So, okay, if she were to do that, like she said on the video that one night, I'm going to sell my P-U-S-S-Y. And what wants to do me in the butt, they can. I'll suck your, but you know, that. <laughs> um, no one made her say that. But here she's saying, I'm going to go sell my, you know, to get some weed. Is that not a choice she's making, right? No one's telling her to do that. But she is going to say, you made me do it. All of us, everybody, the government, all of us made her go sell that because she wants weed. If that's the only thing. Oh, I hope she's taken a shower since before. Because remember last time when she was sitting outside and she said, I can smell myself. Oh, <laughs> Men want for fucking weed? That's disgusting. Like, that's why I had my card. You're that's why I was like, it. what the fuck? I shouldn't have had to deal with anybody. You forced me to have to <sighs> deal with these fucking, these ingrates, these fucking, these incompetent buffoons, these disgusting, perverse monsters. 90% of your vocabulary is complete stupid, completely stupid. It's like, an idiot would talk like that. So for you to say everybody else is a buffoon and stupid, um, you don't have a very good vocabulary or a very big one. You have your specific words you use that are, you know, articulate, as you say, but most of your language is just cuss words and put downs. So you're not, you're not very intelligent. All this shit. Uh, oh my leg. I feel like my brain is frying. I just want to smoke. I feel uh, like my brain is frying just from all the stress and all the fucking is, cortisol. Definitely. Like I said, this baby is going to be fucked. So fucked. I'm so sick of this because no, you can't the just baby is gonna own be up fine. to what you've done. The baby is going to be fine. He's going to come out. I mean, the poor thing is going through so much trauma right now inside of her. It's so sad, you guys. So sad. Oh, I wanted to say, Michelle. Also, yes, authorities have been contacted. Um, police have been to at to her. Uh, CPS 
because people have sent her videos to them. So yes, actually everybody has been contacted and here we sit still. They can't really do anything. I don't see how they can't get her on the threads. I don't understand that. But um, until nothing can be done until the baby's born is what I'm gathering. Offer back and compensate with some bullshit. And no, you steal, you, you take, you rob. But I'm going to prove, I'm going to prove to you fucking trash, fucking eaters, fucking eat my shit, bitch. So yeah. Gross. I love you. Ugh. Today is July 27, 2022. See, Matisse if it's not Collins. fake, if that's not fake, she sits there and says all that rude, disgusting things. And then says, I love you. Just to act crazy. Urban. I'm going to fuck you all over. Okay? See? It's going to happen. Uh -huh. It's going to fucking happen because mm -hmm. my words are relevant. I'm mm -hmm. not going to let you fuck with me anymore. I'm not going to let you fucking incarcerate me for some stupid bullshit. And if that means that I have to fucking tell everyone about what has happened through the video recordings and everything, then that's what's going to have to happen. Because you're not doing anything at your jobs properly. Apparently you don't know how to do that because there's too many fucking dicks up your asses already. Okay. Love you. Bye-bye. Gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, hmm. That was interesting, wasn't it? That that was a hard that was a hard one. I'm I'm really just starting. I have to laugh. Like seriously, if I don't, I will scream because. I, uh, I need some ibuprofen. <laughs> I have a headache. Could you imagine having to be stuck in a home with that? You cannot blame her mother. You can't blame her brother. You can't blame her ex husband. You can't blame any of those people for not wanting that crazy around 24 hours a day. Hell no. Can you imagine? She doesn't, she doesn't even leave the house to go to work or do anything. So she's there all the time. And can you imagine leaving your child with her? Mm -mm. Hi, honey. Hi, boo-boos. You want to come say hi? Come here. Come here, baby. He's eating the treat. I got him. Come here, baby. You're so handsome. Ow, my leg hurts. Come here. Suzy. Suzy boy. So I'll see if there's any more. Um, I'm going to have to edit this now because it was on mute the entire first six minutes. What an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all of your comments. You're amazing. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you guys so much. And thank you, most of all, for your prayers for my mommy. Um, she's getting out Saturday. I don't know if I finished what I was saying, but she's being released Saturday. <laughs> um, 81 years old, unvaccinated, um, made it through. Can you believe it? Wow. She did go in and get the, um, what do you call it, that they give you um, to help fight it off. Um, oh, come on. What's the word? I'll tell you in one second. She did go, antibodies, that's right. She did go in and get the antibodies. Um, so, you know, that probably helped. But, yeah, I'm so happy. My mom, I'm telling you, is a rock star in that sense. She, she in that way, <laughs> um, she's a fighter. She definitely is. And they told us, prepare yourselves. Don't think she's going to make it through this time. She can't breathe. She has air hunger, even with the oxygen on. So, but now we, the only thing that's still really scary is that aneurysm on her heart. That's scary because they can't operate. She wouldn't make it through. She's not strong enough. Even, I mean, I don't even think she could get to a point where she's strong enough. So, um, that's scary. Can you imagine knowing that that could go at any time? So just going to think positive. I mean, she's, she, when she had that, um, lump on one of her breasts at one point, um, she went in one time and then another time she went in and it had completely shrunk and gone away. So think, 
God's amazing. He can perform miracles. And I know not everybody believes in him, but I do. And there's no other explanation for how I'm not dead, how my mother's still around, you know, it's crazy. So God bless you guys. Have a great evening. If I get a hair up my butt, because there's nothing else to do because it's so hot. I have the fan and the air conditioning on me right now. It's so nice, but I think it's going to cool down. I think two more days of this extreme heat and it'll go back down into the 80s. So that should be good. Okay. Bye, you guys. Thank you so much. Say bye, Sosie. Say bye. <laughs>